Hey guys, and good morning. It is Monday morning, 944 to be exact, and I am sitting in the parking lot of Madison's therapy office. She gets therapy weekly. If you guys are new to my channel, you might not know um, my youngest daughter, yeah. who is four years old, she is autistic. Oh, yeah. So she gets therapy um, every week. So she gets speech therapy twice a week, and then she gets occupational therapy once a week. So we are here for our first session. And on Mondays, it's pretty long. We are here for about an hour and 45 minutes. So we have a few more minutes before we have to head in. So I'm just sitting in the car. Madison, there you are. Hi. Can you say hi? Say hi, everyone. Are you ready for therapy? Are you ready to do good? <laughs> So yeah, that is where we are now, and I did go to Starbucks to get a coffee. I wasn't going to get a breakfast sandwich, but I'm not that big on breakfast, so I decided not to because I know I probably wouldn't have finished it, so I just got a venti coffee. I usually just get a grande, but this morning I'm extra tired, so I got a venti, just a regular iced coffee, um, nothing special. I do like their caramel macchiato and I like their vanilla latte, but today I just decided to go with a regular plain coffee. And yeah, I was thinking about going to Walmart and Dollar Tree after therapy. I'm not sure. Madison has been super cranky, so I don't know if she's going to let me. Um, so maybe, maybe we'll go. I did go to Dollar Tree and Target like three days ago, but I need to go back because I forgot something at Dollar Tree for a DIY I want to be doing. So maybe when I get home, I'll do a little haul and show you guys what I bought from Target and Dollar Tree a few days ago because I have not unpacked it. It's just sitting in my little closet, still in bags. So maybe I'll show you guys that. But that is the plan for today. What else do I can do? I don't have anything really fun planned today, but I just want to vlog. I'm trying to get really good with vlogging. Um, I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas again this year. So I am trying to practice. Last week, I was able to get a video up every single day which is great so this week i'm going to try to do it again monday through friday get a video up weekends i usually don't ever upload but monday through friday i'm going to try to get a video up every single day so they will be different videos um might have a vlog i might have a diy might have a shop with me a haul just depends so yeah that is what i'm going to be doing this week see if i can get a video up every single day because i really want to do vlogmas i enjoyed doing vlogmas last year it was hard to keep up with but i definitely had a fun time doing it i did do vlogmas last year but i didn't do it until january 1st i know some people do it until january 1st and then some people do it until christmas so i did it until christmas and that is what i plan on doing again this year so i know vlogmas is so far away but I just want to get myself a little prepared. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I have some things to do in the car while I wait for Madison. I have to call her doctor's office. I have to reply to some emails and then I have to just write some things down. I have to do this week in my notebook. So I'm going to do that and then we will see you guys in a little bit. So I'm now back home and I actually have to leave again in like 10 minutes to pick up Ryan from school. But I want to show you guys a quick haul. I only have three things from Target. A few things from Walmart and also Dollar Tree. So I'll start off with Target. I did already put a lot of the decor out already and it's already open. So I'm not going to show that. But I will show the last three things that I have not ripped off the tags yet. But I bought another one of these orange pumpkins. It's like a knitted material and it's so cute. It is only $3 for this pumpkin. And this one is not going to be for me. It is going to be a Christmas gift. I'll probably give this to either my sister or my mom. And if you guys watched my first Target fall dollar spot haul, then you would have seen the truck I bought. I bought it originally in navy blue. I ended up returning it, not because I didn't like it. I really did like it, but I just don't have any blue in my house. So I brought that back and I exchanged it for a green one. I thought this would be perfect for Christmas. So I'm going to save this and put this out for Christmas. And then the last two things I bought from Target Dollar Spot is this wine stopper. It comes with a set of two. It's a pumpkin and then a leaf. And this was $3. I originally bought it for myself to use it because I love wine and I want to have a girls night soon. So I thought this would be cute to display. But I'm thinking about just giving it to my sister. My sister loves wine as well and I'm pretty sure she would love this. So I think I'm just going to give it to my sister for Christmas. And then the last thing is this set of pumpkins. I already bought a set of white pumpkins, but I decided to buy another one. It's $3 and they are white pumpkins and they have like 
gold paint brush strokes all over it. It's super pretty. So I bought another pack of those. And like I said, I did buy a few other things from Target as well, but I've already put it out. Next, I'll show you guys what I bought from Walmart. The first thing is this lipstick. I love Milani lipsticks. This one is in 29 Teddy Bear. And it just looked like a really pretty color. So I thought that would be a perfect color going into fall. So we'll see how it looks because sometimes I look at lipsticks and the color on my actual lips looks nothing like the tube. So I bought that. This was only like $4.99, something like that. And then, hold on, let me fix this lighting. Then I just bought some washcloths. My husband needed some washcloths. And then guys, this was such a great deal. So my son right now is obsessed with Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. That's all he ever talks about. He keeps on saying he wants a party theme of Jurassic World and his birthday is not until next year. So anyways, I found this bathing suit guys. It comes with the rash guard and then it also comes with the bottom and it's Jurassic World and it was only $3 you guys. I don't know if you can see, but three dollars for that set like I could not leave that behind I got so excited he is going to be so excited for this although we are going into fall it is still pretty hot here in Georgia so we could still use it for the pool and then save it for next year as well so bought him that next is going to be this kiss artificial nail tip clipper and I don't ever really get my nails done at the salon the last time I got my nails professionally done was for my sister's wedding Madison stay downstairs was for my sister's wedding, which was two years ago. But anytime I do my nails, I either just paint them myself or I do have the gel kit so I can do um, a manicure at home for gel. And then I just bought a pack of the Kiss Artificial Fake Nails, but they're way too long, so I wanted to cut them, so I bought that. And then I think that's all from Walmart. I did buy a few jewelry pieces and also like two clothing items. But I'm not going to show that because I do plan on doing a fall try on haul. So that will probably be uploaded in another week or so. So look out for that. So next, I'll show you guys everything from Dollar Tree. The first thing is just some duct tape. I have a few DIYs that I am working on. I needed some duct tape for. And then, guys, I've never seen this in my Dollar Tree before. They are canvases. I'm not sure if they have any other sizes. This is the only size I could find. And it is 6 by 8 So I bought four of them and I'm going to do some crafts on these. Um, I'm thinking about doing something for my family like for gifts on these canvases so we'll see how they turn out but I thought that was a great deal dollar for these canvases and then I bought four of these frames for another DIY that I will be doing. I think they're so pretty. It's like a fake wood and I don't know I just thought that was really pretty so I bought four of those. And then the last few things I bought were some mirrors for another DIY. And this one, hopefully, this DIY hopefully will be up by Thursday. I'm trying to join a open group collab and I'm doing a DIY for that. And I do need two more of these. I have one, two, three, four. I have five and I need like two or three more. So hopefully I can find that and another Dollar Tree. And then guys, I'm so happy I found some decorative nautical rope. My Dollar Tree has not had these in months and I've been wanting it for DIYs and I finally found it. So excited, so I grabbed two. And then the last thing I have is this eyeglass, um, just like a necklace, bought for my grandma to give to her for Christmas as like just a small gift to throw in her bag. She's always losing her glasses and she can never find them. So I thought that was really cute. She loves the color purple, so I grabbed her that. And that is the last item that I bought from Dollar Tree. Now I need to change diaper and then leave. I need to pick up Brian from school. So I will vlog a little more once I get back home. Hey guys, so it is now Friday and I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day. It seems like you guys liked it the first time around I did it. So this is what I am wearing today. Super casual and comfortable. So my top is from Walmart. It is from that brand Time and True. It's so comfortable. It has like this little slit on the side that opens. And then I just decided to tie a little knot on this side. And then it also has this really cute pocket right here. Then my jeans are from Marshalls. My shoes are from Target. And then this long three layer necklace is from H&M. Super old, I think I bought it maybe like three years ago. And then my earrings are from Walmart as well. I think these were only like three bucks. And yeah, that is my outfit. Like I said, super comfortable, super casual. I have a lot of errands to run, so I just want to be really comfortable. So that is my outfit of the day. 
And so now I need to go get this one dressed and ready. She's still in pajamas. And then we will head out to the stores. Hey guys, so it is Friday. It is already almost 2.30. I'm currently sitting in Ryan's carpool lane. But I thought I would vlog today because all my vlogs just got so messed up. So I vlogged on Monday and on Tuesday. And Monday was supposed to be just one vlog in itself. I had vlogged all day and I was so proud of myself because sometimes I could really suck at vlogging because I'm not really used to it. And somehow, um, I don't know how, but somehow half of the footage just got deleted and now I'm only stuck with, I don't know, like half the day that I vlogged. So that just like ruins the whole plan on uploading just a Monday vlog. So then I vlogged on Tuesday so I can combine those two vlogs together. And then I only vlogged one time on Tuesday and I don't want to combine Monday and Tuesday just because both days I did a haul at the same places. I did a haul in the vlog which was at Dollar Tree and Walmart. So I just don't want them to be combined because it would be literally back to back two hauls from Walmart and Dollar Tree. So I do want to split them up. I don't want to delete the footage just because it is a little bit of footage that I want to share with you guys. But I just don't want it to be combined. So my plan is to vlog today, combine that with Monday's vlog and get that up as soon as possible. Today, like I said, is Friday. So I'm going to try to vlog as much today and then get it up on Monday. And then I'll try to vlog again sometime during the week and then combine that with Tuesday's vlog, if that makes sense. So it'll be combined Monday and today, which is Friday, and then Tuesday and then whatever day I decide to vlog next week. I think I might vlog on Sunday because we do have a birthday party to go to. So maybe I'll vlog on Sunday, but we will see. But anyways, like I said, we are currently in carpool lane. Ryan should be getting out in a little bit. And then I had to go grocery shopping. I did run some errands earlier today. I didn't vlog any of that because all the stores were pretty busy and packed and I just didn't want to have my camera out while everyone was staring at me. So I did not vlog earlier today. That's why I'm starting to vlog so late. But I think I had mentioned it on Monday that I want to tell you guys my current hair care routine. And I also wanted to do um, a mask review for you guys. And I was going to put in the vlog, but the company did just email me and they said they would like me to just film a video on its own, just dedicated to the face mask, like a first impressions and review. So that's what I'm going to do sometime next week. I'll have to film that. So the mask review won't be in this video. It'll be in a separate video, but I will tell you guys my updated um, hair care routine once I get home. And yeah, we're going to go grocery shopping. Madison, I think she fell asleep. Yeah, Madison fell asleep. She's sleeping. She's been pretty cranky all day today, but we'll see how she is at the grocery store. But I'm going to let you guys go. I'll vlog maybe when I get to the grocery store and then once I get home. Ready? Hi. So guys, we just picked up Brian from school and his voice is still gone. He lost his voice on Tuesday and it's still not back. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. You're going to let them hear your voice? How does your voice sound like? It sounds like that. Um, I, it sounds like I'm trying to talk like a mouse. Like a mouse? You said what? Your voice went on vacation? Yeah. <laughs> well, tell your voice to come back from vacation. It's been too long. Madison, okay, so mad. Go Are you going to let me go grocery shopping? Did I change your diaper and put your shoes on? What did you say? What? Are you ready to get out? I'm going to change this to diaper. Are you okay? I'll get you something to drink in the grocery store, okay? Um, okay, so I'll get you something to drink in the grocery store. You ready to go grocery shopping? And then we can go home and rest? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Whoa, that was a bad cough. All right, let's head inside. We are home and I am unloading the trunk of all the groceries and my car is a disaster. I need to clean it out, but I just don't feel like cleaning it right now because it's like almost 100 degrees. Today is officially the first day of fall and it is like 92 degrees. So I don't feel like roasting outside. You're gonna run around outside for a little bit? Yeah. Okay, where are you going? Hey, don't go into their yard. That's our neighbor's yard. You gotta come out. Hey. Are you a dinosaur? Yeah. Yeah? You're crazy. 
so hot outside. Why do you want to be outside? Aren't you hot? No. Okay, guys. So we are now back home, and the groceries are just thrown all over the counter. But I just want to show you. I got some caramel apples. I love caramel apples. I've never been a fan of candy apples. I don't know why. I just never really gotten into them. But I love caramel apples. I like them plain. I also like them with the peanuts. And last time I went to my Kroger, they were completely sold out of caramel apples. But of course, they had like a million candy apples. But no caramel ones. So this time I went, they had two left and I grabbed those. So I'm so excited to have some tonight. I've been wanting it for the past week. And like I said, they've been sold out. But anyways, I need to put all of these groceries away. They are thrown everywhere. So I'm going to put all the groceries away. Then I'm going to take the kids a bath. And then hopefully I'll remember to pick up the camera again tonight and vlog at least one more time because I suck at vlogging and that is why all these days are going to be combined because I always forget to pick up the camera but also guys I'm missing cabinet doors all my kitchen and then this one over there the reason why we're missing cabinet doors is because we are repainting them when we first moved in we did redo the kitchen ourselves to a white kitchen I've always loved white kitchens and so when we moved into the house we decided to do it ourselves but the first time we painted it, I don't know, we just didn't um, like it. We weren't completely happy with it. Like the texture of it wasn't very smooth. It was like really rough. So we are repainting it and this one is already done. And you guys can't really tell a difference, but it's so much smoother and like shinier. Plus it's much easier to clean if anything spills on it. So we are redoing all of them. So all those cabinets that are missing right now, they're actually in the garage and they are drying. They should be completely dry by the weekend and then we can put them back up and then we'll have to take down a few more and paint them we're doing only a little bit at a time we didn't want to take them all down just because it would be more of a hassle so we're just taking down a few at a time painting them and then putting them back up but yeah I need to clean up this kitchen and then take the kids a bath and I like I said I am going to do my updated hair care routine show you guys everything that I've been using like products wise I've been really bad with doing deep conditionings to my hair. I used to be really good at it and I used to do them weekly and I think the last time I did it was probably a few months ago until this past week that I started back up with my deep conditioning treatments because my hair, I need a haircut. I have so many split ends, it's so dry. So yeah, I'm gonna get a haircut probably within the next week or so. But anyways, I'm gonna put all these groceries away and then I'll see you guys. It soon. is now around six o'clock. The kids are finally in the bath and giving them a bubble bath getting them all cleaned up and they still need to eat dinner. They still have not eaten dinner. So once they get out of the bath, I'm gonna get them some dinner. I bought some rotisserie chicken from um, the supermarket. So that's what we're gonna have for dinner. And then I'll try to find a side. I'm not sure what we're gonna have for a side, but that's what we're gonna have for dinner. Or that's what they're gonna have for dinner. I think for me and Robert, I'm gonna make like either quesadillas or um, tacos with the chicken. Them, they don't like tacos. Well, Madison likes tacos, Ryan doesn't like tacos. So I have to give him a different side. And then I usually always do laundry on Fridays. Um, Fridays going to my laundry days, but today's just been so hectic and long and I forgot to put in a load. So I'm gonna try to get in a load of laundry as well. So, hey, do not stand up. Oh my God, these kids are crazy. Okay, I'm gonna get the kids out of the bath and I'll vlog in a little bit. Are you guys in the bath? Yes. Time to get clean. What do I can do? No, don't go under because then you get, your little booty goes up and no one wants to see your booty. No one can see your booty on TV. On the camera, drink the bath water. Madison's always drinking the bath water. I'm always going to scream at her. It's yucky. Ryan, okay. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Leave her alone. Hey, hey, hey. Settle down. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to get these kids out of the bath. Okay, guys, so, I told you I would share with you my current hair care routine. This is what I've been using for the past few weeks on my hair. So, as far as shampoo and conditioner, please excuse the bottle. It's all messy, but. For shampoo and conditioner, I've been using this Redken All Soft Conditioner and then the matching Redken All Soft Shampoo. So that is how the bottles look and I've been using this and I've had this for quite a while so this will last me a really long time. I really like the way it works. It makes my hair super soft and smells amazing. So these are a little pricey but I have a friend who is um, a hairstylist and she usually gets me them for a discounted price so I don't have to pay full price on them. So yeah, that's what I use for shampoo and conditioner. And then as far as a deep conditioner, I love this deep conditioner. It is by Palmer's. It's called Coconut Oil Formula Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. I really wish they would sell like a large bottle of this, but they don't. Like they only sell it in like in these little packets and I believe they're like $1.99 each. And I could get maybe like two or three uses out of one pack. 
So that is what I've been using as of recently. Although this is a staple, I've been using this for years, but as of recently, I've been using it a lot. And then to protect my hair from the heat, I've been using this Eva NYC, it's called Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. And I love this. I was actually going to buy the larger bottle because I only had a sample one. And then I ended up getting the box box and I got another one. So this will last me a while before I have to go buy a large one. But this protects your hair from heat. If you use the blow dryer, if you use straightening iron, whatever heat tools you use, it'll protect it from the heat. But it also adds shine. It has like argan oil. It helps with like split ends or if you have dry hair. So it's a really good one. Um, I believe I sell it at Ulta. So yeah, I've been using that. And then after I blow dry my hair, I like to put some type of serum or like argan oil in it. And I've been using this Pure Brazilian Shine. It's an ultra light nourishing oil and it smells amazing, you guys. I got this a few months back from um, Ipsy and I'm gonna have to Google where they sell this because I'm obsessed. It works so well, it doesn't leave my hair like way down or super oily and greasy. I've tried serums and stuff before, other serums where it just weighed my hair down or it left my hair looking super, super greasy after I just washed it. So I really like this one. I'm really sorry about all the background noise. Um, I really like this one. Like I said, I don't know how much it is full price because I did get a sample and I've been using this for quite a while. I think I even received this probably when I was living in my old house. That's how long I've had it because you just need a very small amount. And I just put it in like the middle and the ends of my hair. So yeah, that's the oil I've been using. So those are all the products I've been using for my current hair care routine. I do like to switch it up every once in a while because if I do not, then my hair will get used to those products and then it won't work anymore. So I usually switch it out. I also use a lot of drugstore items. So it's not all high end. I don't even know if this is high end. If you guys know this Pure Brazilian Shine, if it's high end or not, I'm not sure. Um, but the Redken is high end. And then 10 in 1, I believe they sell it at Ulta, but it's not that expensive. So it can pass as a um, drugstore. If you guys would like me to show you maybe in just a separate video of all of my favorite shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, dry shampoos, serums, heat protectors, both high end and drugstore. Comment down below, let me know, and maybe I'll film like a favorites video showing you guys everything that I like from dr the drugstore and high end ones. But anyways, I'm going to get the kids some food because as you guys can see, yeah, hold on. As you guys can see, Madison super hyper, making a lot of noise, and Ryan, he just wants attention. That's why he doesn't go in front of the camera. But anyways, I think I'm also going to end the vlog here because I don't think I'm gonna vlog for the rest of the day. Oh guys, also, let me know what you guys think of my nails. I just did them, I think like two days ago. I don't think it's been three days yet. I think it was like three days ago. So I don't ever get my nails done at the salon. I think the last time I got my nails professionally done was for my sister's wedding. And that was like three years ago. So that's the last time. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. All right, let me finish. Um, I think it was like three years ago. I always do my nails myself. I either paint them, just with like regular nail polish. And then sometimes I do the gel nail polish. I have the gel manicure kit, so sometimes I will do gel nails. And then if I want more of like the acrylic look, thank you. If I want more of the acrylic look, then I usually use the Kiss nails and I buy it from either Walmart or Target. So this time around, I just bought plain white um, Kiss nails and then I painted it with nail polish that I already had. So let me know if you guys think it looks good, if you can tell that I did it myself. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get the kids some food and then put them to bed because it's bedtime. Right? Bedtime? So, Almost bedtime. Do you want to so, say bye to them? Because I'm about to end the vlog. I'm just going to end the vlog here. So to vlog I did again this for a little day. background. Just want to take a little closer like, to the outdoors. I think they see it. Can say bye to everyone? Say have yeah. a good night. Bye. Have a good night of sleep. <laughs> or... Little kisses. Mm -hmm.